All right, so it's first thing in the morning. We got back last night after picking up that new car. I was gonna do a tarp and do a little unveiling that way, but it's right here behind this garage door. So let's open this thing up. Here we are. It's late, late at night. Got the C10 loaded up. I just got the go ahead from a guy. He said he wanted to buy it. So I'm gonna load it up. I'm dropping it off tomorrow. And now I'm also loading up the Sportster. Another guy wants to buy that. So loading them both up, selling them both tomorrow. And I might come home with something else. We'll see. Not 100% yet, but we will see. There's the two vehicles I want to go look at. And we'll see what happens from there. So I'm going to keep getting this thing strapped down and head on out first thing in the morning. So I ran over to my buddy's house to grab his ramp so I could load this 2007 Harley Sportster in this thing. I got another bike I'm, I'm looking at, trying to see if I can make a deal on it. C10. Got a buyer for both of these lined up. Tomorrow I'm going to go and see if I can't get myself a sell this one, sell that one, buy something to replace this and wait on that because I'm waiting for it to hear back from him. But buddy Andrew let me borrow his trailer. I really appreciate that. Get this thing loaded up and call it a day. Got the C10 loaded up. Got that Harley loaded up. And I'm going to get on the road. I've only towed one thing with this truck actually since I got it. I towed uh, Jonathan's Razor. And I got the C10 and the Harley on there and I'm heading out. I got a, I think the first stop is to sell the, the bike on the way if I looked at the map right. I'm gonna sell the bike to a guy. And then like it's a town over for him. I'm selling the truck to a guy. And then coming back this way is where the guy is who's got the vehicle I want to look at, possibly buy it. We'll see what happens. I forgot my GoPro, oh, and it's raining out, but I wanted to put the GoPro and get some rolling shots and stuff. I thought it would be kind of cool. A little time lapse of driving, but I forgot the dang thing, so oh well. I'm at the meet point to drop off the bike. It's just right down the road here, but the old Duramax running good. Yeah, so we're gonna go meet at this gas station over here and sell the bike and then I gotta drive down the road a little bit, back down that way the way I came in, sell the truck, and then back towards the house is where I'm looking at this other truck at, so we'll see. So here I am, looking at something new. Not sure what I want yet, but they're all for sale. I'm about to get on the road and head home with the new project. Now it's 100% original body of the car, but it doesn't have the original motor or the transmission's original and the rear axle is original. But I, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm still kind of at a loss for words here, but got this cool little truck with it. And you got your part, you put it in neutral. And then while you're in neutral, you can use that left pedal. That'll give you like your low gear right there. That's like your low gear. And then watch the pedal. Let me come around here. So that's like your low gear. And if you come forward more, that thing will move back. Watch here, that'll be high gear. That's high gear. And then you come back to there. And then that's how you use reverse. And that's the brake. Let's focus. That's the brake. Oh, and this is your throttle. And this is for your timing advance. So, pretty sweet. This key's got some age on it now. Focus, whatever. But the feller basically gave this thing away. Granted, it doesn't have the original motor in it, but the motor it has in it, it drives the car. So, hasn't been ran in a while, but I don't plan on keeping that motor in there very long. I have a pretty wicked plan for this car, and I think I'll hang on to it for a little bit. I really want to get rid of this though, and get me like a 1920s Model A sedan is really what I want, but body's fairly straight, looks good. 
you just old Ford Model A. Or is a Model? I think this is a Model T. Yeah, it's a Model T Roadster. So it looks good. So it's it's sad the guy wouldn't let me record there because he was he was knowledgeable. He had about six different things that were. He had all kinds of stuff there. I took a little clip and he hollered at me, so. But man, these things are, they're sharp. I gotta get a tarp on this before I drive back to the house just because of the rain, but I'm gonna get this thing back to the house. And I think, I think I gotta, I'll take some suggestions on it, but I know what I kinda wanna do with it, so. It's all metal car, not glass. These aren't glassed front fenders aren't glassed so that's pretty hard to find you know there's a little bit of surface rust on it but shoot that c10 had more than that but i think i'd come out on top buying this thing over that c keeping that c10 c10 was cool but i think this is another level of cool now all right so <laughs> i had some intentions of doing a uh, detail on this thing you know, it's, it wasn't that it's filthy, but it's filthy, so. Well, it, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's, it's raining pretty good, so. It's, it's pretty wet back there. Got the top down, no tarp on it. I went to the uh, local Walmart, tried to get a tarp, and they were sold out, so. Just kind of letting it ride. I should have bought a damn shower curtain. If I could have, that would have worked. I'm not gonna lie to you, I feel bad. I feel so bad with that top down. I had to stop and grab something to eat real quick. I haven't eaten nothing all day, but. I ain't even gotta wash this thing no more. I think it'll look brand new. Yo! So I've got this Model T back. Sorry, the lighting is terrible, but it's late here. Just got this thing back. It is all tucked away in the garage. It's soaking wet, but. You know what? She's here, and now I can get to work on this thing. I'm, I'm super excited. Should be pretty fun. Headlights cracked over here. I don't remember if it was like that before. It's full of water too now. This one's good, or it's completely full. Now it's good, but radiator's chewed up, man. But whatever, you know. I do have the crank. It's in the truck. But I am excited about this thing. Super, super excited. What y'all think? You think it's about time for a bigger garage? So here it is in the garage. It's a 1926 Ford Model T Roadster. And now it's got the rumble seat. And actually not a lot of water got in here on the way home. And I mean, I drove in a rainstorm for about an hour and a half, if not longer. But it's pretty good, pretty good ceiling. Seats are in good shape. I actually, I thought these were original, but then I thought about it again. Every one that I've seen, they usually have that mole hair for the seats, all the like a fabric and it's mole hair. So that's probably not original. And I don't know if the top's original or not, but it is there. These things are just cool. They were built cool back in the day. It's just, they're just wild, but. So I'm a big guy. I can't really fit into this thing, right? So you, that's locked. You unlock the steering wheel and pull it up out of your way. That's gonna fall over, but don't break. But yeah, you just fold the steering wheel up and you can crawl in there, more room. Pull it back down, you're good to go. It does have the two brass horns Missing the boots. I have one of the boots. It's in there. I got right there it is. And then I got an RC car with it. Pretty sick. There is a hole in the radiator. And that one's got water in it. But now, I pick, like I said, I picked this thing up cheap. And there is a reason behind why I picked it up so cheap. And it's right here. So it's all body is original car, but the motor is not original. It has no belongings with this vehicle. And now, don't laugh at it, but it's got that old overhead valve, twin, uh, twin V-twin 
lawnmower engine. I guess that's like a cement mixer engine. Someone put it in there. I don't know why, but they did. I will give it to them. They did a good job. They got this chain coming off of here down to the bottom of it. They got a shaft that they put on the front of this transmission. I probably got better lighting another time that's not now at night, but I'm really just trying to show you guys this because it's trick. But they've got the way they've got it set up down there, they've got a carrier bearing on the back side and front side of that chain, so that way it's completely suspended. And that shaft goes into the input of the transmission, so all of that still works like it would, other than the fact that this is not the correct motor or nothing like that at all. But this right here, this motor is the reason why I got this car so cheap. Like, the car's pretty straight, not all dented up, not banged up, but... It looks good, and I would fire it up right now, but I think it needs battery. So here it is in the garage. I'm kind of assessing it a little more. So the battery's down there. I just picked one up just to kind of assess this thing a little better. But I'm not trying to, I don't have a lot of stuff to, and now it is pretty late here. But, I don't know if you, I think I said it, but it doesn't have the original motor. They've got this, this going on here, all rigged up. It is free. It's not locked up, which is good, very good. That's not ideal, it's not what I want. Here, that's off, and then to the right, over left would be for battery power. Check that out. Got a bunch of stuff I need to clean up in here, but it don't look too bad. Everything seems to be, oh, the ornament is awesome. Too. I'll show that better, get it cleaned up. Here's where the gas tank is under the dash. Some of the Model T's have gas tanks under the seat. Not this one though. But, let me cut that battery off, the headlight off. And this, like I said, see that key down there goes to this motor. And if you get a hold of it, it turns over. The guy said he don't know really nothing about it. He said he's seen the car run and drive, and then he ended up getting it a while back. Wow, I didn't even see that. Look, that's the inside of that radiator. Woo that's pretty trippy. But yeah, the guy, he said he didn't see nothing about driving it, running that. He just took it on a trade deal, and I bought it from him. So it's pretty, pretty stock. No one's... No one's rummaged a bunch of parts off of it. There's no fiberglass on it. It's all steel. I'm pretty excited about it. And what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below what you want to see on this thing. And now I do apologize for how terrible lighting is out here. I can't help it. I go to work and it's dark. I get off work and it's dark. So but I got some days coming off. I got some days coming up. I'll have off. So I will try and get as much filming done on this thing. So you guys have great content in the daylight. I'm going to try and get this thing running. And I'm going to try and drive it. Take you all along for the ride. Oh yeah. One more thing. Pretty sick.